Hello and welcome to episode 25 of my Time at Porsche tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on upgrading my tools, the bronze tools, and my weapon to the bronze sword. I'll also be um, doing a commission first and to make a bit more money and then do some upgrades because we can't you keep using boxing gloves it just won't they won't just won't be good enough for some of the creatures we're going to be coming up against in some of the further areas we've got to explore uh, let's check my mail first of all from the research center and there we go we've got a new diagram we've got the blender so that's another episode and that'll be a good one we complete the research into the diagram here's the result blender nice that's why it's worth keep getting the data disks and keep going to the research center and giving them the minimum amount of data disks and then you can keep getting oh, I'm a bit early for the uh, for the um, commission guild so I guess I could uh, grab some of my resources and top the fuel back up Plenty of copper now. Actually, let's get to the uh, Commerce Guild. Yep, there's Higgins. There we go. I actually know what I want to do on here, which is this one. We need two wall lights, and you get a lot of money, so definitely the best one. These others, three bronze bars, six levers, and seven hardwood planks. Once I've upgraded by axe, that'll be a thing. Because uh, I'll be able to get the hardwood planks. Right, so we've got the commission I want. Now let's go buy what we're going to need <clears throat> to upgrade my tools and weapon. which is here at Miles's total tools and what we need is these they're 256 each I think I can just afford three of them look at that, how lucky and that's exactly what I need <coughs> right cleaned out money wise but that's only until I do this commission And thankfully it's an easy commission. So, uh, two wall lights. And you can see I've got plenty of glass, plenty of old parts and plenty of copper bars. So let's craft two of them. There we go. That's done. If we check the um, map, oh, I've got to go to the research centre. 
as well. Well, actually, we need the research centre for two reasons for the wall lights and for the giving more data disks. <coughs> Ah, here we are, Carol. Hey. She's the one with the commission. And there we go. Got some money again. And where is Petra? There she is. Uh, so five data disks. That should be enough data disks. Still, if you want to expedite our research, you can submit more data disks. No, thank you. Data, faster we work. The data corruption on these disks are minimal. There we go. So in a few more days, we're going to get another blueprint. And that's the way we keep growing <coughs> with our blueprints by just giving data disks. Right, let's make these tools and this weapon. Hopefully I've got enough resources. There's only one way to find out. So let's see, we want the bronze sword. Oh, I need two more bronze bar. Oh, and I need to make a practice sword. <clears throat> so let's do my tools first. So we want a bronze axe for to be able to get hardwood. And we want a bronze pickaxe. Oh, I haven't got enough resources by the looks of it. Yeah, so I need more bronze two more bronze bar <clears throat> let's do that oh wait a minute actually I've got some bronze that's on the go here Do, oh, we've got copper wire <coughs> and bronze pipes. I think I needed some of them. Uh, let's actually wait and upgrade my sword and tool with the pickaxe before I do that. Right, let's have another look. Right, there's the bronze pickaxe. And the last thing I want to upgrade, of course, is so I need. I've got hardwood, let's make the practice sword. And then the bronze sword. Perfect. Uh, to do the enhanced bronze sword. Um, so bronze I can get no problem, so it'll just be the teeth that I need to get from the hazardous ruins or as loot from other creatures. What's the spiked? What's the difference? Oh yeah, no, the enhanced is much better. Yeah, so I've got pretty much the best of what I can use at the moment until I get some teeth. Right, let's test out my new tools. Um, first of all, though, let's put this these resources in here. Oh, there's the phone. Sorry about that. 
So I'm going to now try and get all of these up to 10 as I get resources. Got plenty of copper bars now. Alright, I don't need the boxing gloves anymore. So let's put them because I might be able to use them for a mission or commission. There you go, they can go in there. Right, let's test out the axe first of all. These trees, big trees over here, I've not been able to cut down so far. So let's do one of these to start with. And you'll see now, I've got the hardwood. So I'm going to start getting hardwood. Chops down the smaller ones nice and quickly. One hit with some of them. You see though per swing it's using more stamina which is why I keep uh, trying to get more stam stamina with items that I accumulate. Same holds true for the bronze pickaxe, I'll be using more stamina with it. So when I go into the mine I won't use the bronze pickaxe, I will make another pickaxe and use that because it's far more efficient. Um, but for outside of the ruins I will use the bronze pickaxe on the larger rocks because you get gems more frequently so the uh, the normal pickaxe for inside the ruins and the bronze one for outside Look at all that wood I'm getting. Fantastic. And the experience. Right, let's go show now the pickaxe. Oh, one more tree. Let's cut this down. I like to keep all this area out here clear of all trees and bushes. So I can see better in the distance. Right, let's go show the pickaxe. There you go, there's a big um, big boulder, which we can now mine. And six marble, which is excellent, because I go through the marble as soon as I get it. And you can't get marble from inside the ruins, you have to mine that from these rocks and boulders outside. Oh, I need a better axe for that one. <clears throat> so I'm not quite on them yet. Just like there's still a tree I won't be able to cut down. But I'm getting there.
should have <coughs> excuse me I should have accumulated now quite a bit of marble which is some, a resource that I did need let's have a look how much we got 20 well that's good to start with okay let's demonstrate the weapon next <coughs> So this really huge tree, I don't think my bronze axe is good enough for it. No. Uh, could do need to do lots of kicking at some point, um, because I'm going to need the rubber from them. Mind you, I've got 15, so I'm getting the rubber. The uh, cocoons, it's a good way of getting the cocoons that are, of course, kicking. Right, time to do some fighting. We'll start with the llamas down this end. I think I should be able to go on to bigger creatures now, as in stronger creatures. Yeah, I made short work of them. So nice sword, nice weapon upgrade, just like the tools. It's now giving me access to higher level resources that I can now craft. <coughs> and this new weapon is really good test it out on some bats I haven't got much stamina left though but uh, enough to test out some bats and I must start gathering apples because I intend to make a drying rack Go is about so got my first bat wing. Get warm fur and meat as well from the bats. Level eight. Oh, I don't have no more space. Um, okay, there's one way to fix that. 600. Ooh, just enough. Got to be worth it though, surely. There we go. Our teeth. That is what we need. We need teeth. 
Oh, level 9. I'm not sure I want to go to level 9. I'm going to stick with 7. Oh, I suppose I could do 9. Yeah, some good hitting going on here. So I'm starting to gather teeth, which is good. Uh, there was a recipe I needed teeth for. I can't remember what the recipe was, but at least I have the teeth now. I think it was two teeth I needed. The hits are fantastic. Okay, so I've got, I mean, I could go to the restaurant and get a bit more stamina. Um, have I got enough to fight this one? Let's go for a lower level. Okay, right. Yeah, it's all good. Let's have a look. What do we get? So I've got six teeth now. I've got six bats, wings. Um, what's this blue scarf be handy for a mission or commission oh I even got a potato fruit seed yeah so I'll go probably to the restaurant now in fact let's go do that go to the restaurant get a bit more stamina I haven't got much money though so I suppose I'm going to have to use some of my stone to start making stone stalls or the other right, what was it, the blades, one of them is I'll go check, see which one is the best for the money In fact, before I go, no, let's go do this, see how much it comes to. I haven't really got much money at the moment, so I am a little limited. Uh, these starters don't really give you much. And I certainly can't afford a Porsche or a hot pot. Spaghetti with hot sauce, that sounds nice. 34 stamina, that's nice. Pumpkin steam rice. That only gives me 6. That only gives me 8. Gives me 9. Yeah, slightly more expensive as we're going down. That's going to give me 11. What about dessert? Ordering too much is wasteful. Yeah, well, it isn't. I can easily. Um, but the game insists that that is all I must have. Mind you, I suppose it's good because it's only 66 gold. Yeah, we've got a bit more stamina. So what I'd like to do now is go gather some apples in preparation for the drying rack. So I'm going to have to do a bit of kicking. 
gonna have to kick it. I think I'll start putting some points into the skill tree for um, for this. There's still three points I need to put in to this lucky me. Uh, yeah, so I need to do that. I sort of skipped it so far in, in favour of getting stone and wood. Actually, I've got one more point I need to put into there. Then I will focus on doing that one. Okay, that's all my stamina used up. I'll end the episode here. Got a few apples. How many did I get in the end? Not many, I know. Well, 12. 12 is still better than none. But I'll end the episode here because I now need to go and put all of this stuff nicely and neatly away. And I haven't got any more stamina, so there ain't a lot more I could do in this uh, video apart from sleep. <laughs> you don't want to watch that. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.